Mikey here. Um, what I'm doing right now is I had bought this yellow pedestal light a few years ago and it actually came with these two fixtures mounted on the crossbars and these are halogen bulbs in here. Um, I don't know if you ever used a halogen bulb. They throw a lot of light. They're pretty bright but the drawback to them they're like a these are like a flamethrower. They are an inferno. They're so friggin hot um, yeah, in the winter it might feel okay to have all that heat on you, but most of the time I'm um, in here, it's just too hot. I'm broiling after working under those lights for a few minutes. Um, so what I did, I went to Costco. Um, went to Costco this past weekend and I see they were carrying, they just brought in these LED lights from uh, made by Snap-on. I, I don't know if they're um, up to the traditional Snap-on quality because they are made in China. All right, but I don't really care because um, they look pretty rugged to me. Um, and the fact that I bought them in Costco, and I, I'm going to hang on to the box as well as the receipt because with Costco you could take these back in 10 years if you want. So if they don't work, I'll just take them back, and get my money back. They're about they were forty dollars, thirty nine dollars and change a piece, so eighty bucks, and and that's more than I paid for this whole fixture. When I bought this with these two halogens on it, I think um, I paid, I think it was $49 at either Home Depot or Lowe's, one of those big box stores, maybe Sears, I'm not sure, but, and it was a piece of crap. It was made in China, and um, the stand on it was real rickety. This top crossbar was bolted with a screw down into the uh, vertical adjustable column, because you can raise or lower this, and that bolt never really worked. This whole thing used to flop in the breeze like crazy, so... What I did, I, I built a pedestal base for it on wheels, and I locked the fixture onto it, and then I put this 4x4 four four post and notch out for the crossbar, made this a lot more rugged, so it holds up. So it, it's nice to swivel it, and I can also swivel these, all right, so I can, I can adjust the, the range of light I have on these, and it goes up and down, so, but the nice thing is that it's, it's LED, and Man, I just, I just love LEDs. I'm using them everywhere I can in the shop. Little by little, we're gonna, everything in the shop will be LED down the road. Um, which probably, that's the direction the lighting companies are going. The old fluorescent tubes, they're pretty much getting they're history. Bright. These are so bright, there are 2,000 lumens, which is a lot of light. It's actually more than these, these halogens were only rated at 1,200 lumens. So these are a lot brighter than, and you don't want it to look directly at them either. All right, uh, but anyway, what I'm doing right now, um, I had put this switch on here, and what I did, I left the two fixtures on all the time, and now I would just turn it on and off with this. It's just a regular toggle light switch you'd find in the house anywhere, all right? So um, right now I'm doing the same thing here. I'm going to put this, um, I got a receptacle. I'm going to mount this on a box here, all right? And then I'll plug each one of the two lights into this receptacle, and, and we should be good to go. So... That's what I'm doing right now. So the first thing we want to do is, um, I guess we want to knock out one of these. Knock out the knockout on the bottom. There, you want a nickel? <laughs> when we were kids, we used to go around to job sites. My dad used to do a lot of um, building, house building remodel. He was a builder. And we would go around years ago and we would collect, when we were, ah, we were 7, 10, 12 years old, I don't know, we would collect all these knockouts and we would they may take a magic marker and they come in different sizes. Um, and we would write like a nickel or a dime or a quarter, whatever. We used to have buckets like this full of them. We, it was play money, it was free play money, you know, so I had fun with it. So I, maybe I should keep this and throw it in the old collection, all right? At any rate, that's... Um, that's the story of my misspent youth, all right? <laughs> it's pretty warm out today. It's getting up into the, they said it might hit 70 today. It's going to be in the high 60s, mid to high 60s. And I'm not one of those guys that likes heat a lot. I cannot take the heat at all, i got to tell you. So, um... I'm going to really appreciate having these these LEDs on here because um, what I do, I use these for um, 
when I sand in my cabinets and my doors and whatever, I, I shine this light so it shines across the wood as I'm sanding. Um, this way it shows up any um, scratches and nicks or whatever because overhead lighting doesn't do the trick. It, it, everything looks great with an overhead light, but then if you put a light across the, the, across the plane of the wood, all of a sudden you're going to see a lot of things you have missed and we don't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting ready to do all the sanding and all on some of these cabinets and I'm anxious to get this up and running and see how, how nice it looks. So, okay, so here we go. Let's, um, let's get this mounted in here. I got to go find a screw to mount that. But first we're going to screw this on here. putting four of them on there. All right, but um, what the hell? I have so many screws, I don't know what to do with them all. Hmm. All right, now, I don't know what, now this looks like maybe a number, number 14 or 16 wire. Let's try number 16 on here. Yep. Actually, I think it's number 14, but there you go. You know, you got yeah, little numbers. If you ever use these, a bunch of holes, and they have the number of wire, you you can close it down without cutting the copper inside. So, if you don't know what the wire is, always go to the um, the smaller, the lower number, which is a thicker diameter. And if that doesn't cut through the insulation, then work your way down to it. If you don't know it, because um, you don't want to be cutting the copper inside, especially if it's strand wire like this. This is not solid core wire, these are strand wires, and you don't want to be cutting it off. In fact, really should be leaving this to the electricians. I'm not advocating doing this yourself, all right? If you're, you want to try to do this kind of stuff, hire a certified electrician. Don't do anything I tell you to do here. <laughs> I'm only qualified to talk about woodwork and not electrical work. All right, so um, Got an extension cord. Let's um, let's try this out. See how it works. All right. Um, before I plug the lights in, I'll check my connections with this handy little gadget. All right. Plug that in. Throw the switch on. Okay. You can see it's operating right because the two little orange lights are on. And put it in the bottom one. Was on. Was off. Okay. So everything's wired correctly here. So. Is we can plug these two lights in. Yeah, I gotta keep them coiled up here because um, I don't want those things hanging out all over the place. There we go. Yeah, you can see this is gonna be nice. Oh man, that is bright. Maybe too bright. But yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be nice. 
Okay, we're up and running. They have these knobs on here on the picture you see here. You can tighten these up so you can tilt them and put them wherever you want them. Alright. And the quality of these lights are looking a little bit better than those um, those other ones there. So okay, so we're good to go. Cool, huh? Oh yeah, these are sexy man. This is great. These are awesome. Check them out. See all the little LEDs? I don't know how many are in there. I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 of them. Get a close-up of the back. They're a narrow profile, too. They're not very deep, are they? I took a couple of tie wraps, and I kind of bundle up the wires and get them out. It looks a little messy, but it doesn't matter. They're tied up there. They're not going to be hanging in the breeze and flopping around while I'm working with this. So I do like this a lot. There you can see the base I made. Basically just cut out a piece of um, melamine and um, notch out some corner pieces so that I could drop this in. And then you can see I just I drove a screw down into the base so that it won't flop off of there all right so now it's it's movable okay it was just a tripod that sat on the floor and it was a pain you had to lift it up and move it around so yeah being mobile like that I actually I took those those casters came off of an old TV cabinet we had um, taken out of a house when we built a new custom one and I never throw stuff like that out. I save those wheels and those casters that work well. This thing is not very heavy, so they don't need heavy duty casters. Um, they've been holding up for quite a few years, and I imagine they're going to hold up a lot more. But there you go. Okay, snap on. Great products. LED versus halogen. Huh, no contest. All right, look, don't these look sexy? <laughs> <laughs> now there, it's a nice looking light, and it's going to work well, I think. So we can go to work now and start doing some um, sanding, okay. Yep, that's the, that's the way of the future, LED lights. When I say these are cool lights, I don't mean they're just cool, they're cool, they're, they're temperature-wise cool. They don't generate any heat whatsoever. These are nice little fixtures. You see they come with a little toggle switch here on off. Like I said, I just leave them on the on position because I'm, um, I'm going to turn them on and off with this switch. I do have the option if I want to just turn one on. Like I said, they, it seems to be really powerful. And if that's the case, if it's a little too much, too much light sometimes, I just turn one off and just run off at one instead of both. Okay, but there you go. Okay, so that's it. I'll show you this in the use down the road. Uh, for now, I'm going to say goodbye, and there you go. Cool lights.